Thanks for watching. And today I want to solve a beautiful Putnam problem that even a Calc 1 student can do. Namely, consider the limit as h goes to 0 of this function. This limit just depends on x, so let's call it g of x. And the question is, what happens to g of x over x as x goes to infinity? Well, let's try to tackle it. Since g is just an exponent, let's destroy it by using ln. So ln, destroy of the exponents, becomes ln of g of x, ln of that limit, which we can put inside, because ln is continuous if you wish. And this then becomes the limit as h goes to 0 of ln of 1 plus x to the h plus 1 minus x to the h plus 1 over h. And well, this limit is very L'Hopitalizable, so let's do that. But just beware, you're taking the limit as h goes to 0, not the limit as x goes to 0. So what you have to do here, you have to differentiate everything with respect to h. And this gives very uh, 2 to the x vibes. So remember, in particular, that the derivative of 2 to the x is 2 to the x times ln of 2. OK, so now let's do it. Well, by L'Hopital's rule, the derivative of the denominator is just 1. The derivative of the numerator, by using the Chen Lu, this gives you 1 over 1 plus x to the h plus 1 minus x to the h plus 1 and then times so let's see the same thing 1 plus x to the h plus 1 times ln of 1 plus x remember what I said about 2 to the x and the minus x to the h plus 1 ln of x and by the way, I don't want to flex, but yes, I do. There was a typo in the original solutions, and I wrote the problem writer, hey, there's a typo in the solutions, and he's like, you're correct. And I was like, eh. <laughs> Anyway, back to the problem. The cool thing is, now this thing, uh, it's not indeterminate anymore. We can just let h go to 0, and then let's see what happens. Then what do we get? As h goes to 0, this becomes 1 plus x ln of x plus 1 minus x ln of x. And the denominator just becomes 1 plus x minus x, which is just 1. So what have we shown? We've shown that ln of g of x, remember g was this limit, is just 1 plus x ln of x plus 1 minus x ln of x. And so we've calculated ln of g. And to get back to g, we'll just exponentiate. So let's do e of that on both sides. Then, on the one hand, we get g of x. On the other hand, e of ln of x plus 1, that is x plus 1, to the x plus 1. And then e minus that becomes you know, 1 over, so we get x to the x. So we have that, which if you want, you can just rewrite as x plus 1 over x to the x times x plus 1. But again, we're not quite done, because the problem didn't ask about g of x. It asked about g of x over x. So then what we have, g of x was this expression. So dividing by x, g of x over x becomes this divided by x. But then notice you can simplify this to 1 over 1 over x to the x, and this if you want becomes 1 plus 1 over x. And last but not least, let x go to infinity. 
All right, then what happens to this limit? So it is famous limit where you have 1 to the infinity, which is just e. This limit is just 1, so e times 1 equals e. And this is why the limit is z. Mic drop. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.